So one of the topics uh, I'm often asked to talk about is my personal story of being diagnosed with young onset dementia. Um, having been diagnosed with dementia um, age 49, an early 50th birthday present, um, I was pretty much told to go home to get my end of life affairs in order, to give up work, to give up study and to start going to aged care one day a month to get used to it. Um, and that was not just my doctor, really doctors just do the diagnosing. Um, that was the healthcare sector in general and the service providers who look after people with dementia basically tell you to stop living. Um, and in contrast to that, I was a university student and the university saw me as a person with acquired disabilities, just like someone who'd had a stroke or a road accident with a head injury and started to support me as a student with disabilities. And that helped me reframe how I saw dementia. And then I started to realise that through being supported to keep going at uni, I actually had rights to be supported to live in my community as well. So my personal story, which really the first six to 12 months of being diagnosed with dementia was mostly a very dark place, lots of tears, lots of no hope for the future, um, to learning how to manage some of the daily challenges that um, are increasing as I move on in my journey with dementia. So some days I have trouble, for example, getting dressed. So if you're having a bad day, um, think about whether you got dressed this morning and whether that was easy or not, whether you even had to think about it. So some days I have to be really, really uh, thoughtful about doing simple things like making a cup of coffee or knowing what to do in the shower. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't live a really good life and run a global organisation for people with dementia in 49 countries around the world.